thing is, yes, I'm absolutely going to Chudan Chanpur, but before that, uh, today or tomorrow, I'm going to meet the Honorable CM, Chief Minister of uh, Manipur, and Virain Singh, uh, to discuss about, to ensure my safety, you know, and my security first, because it's really important. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I'll plan to go. I just want to say that I pray for peace for Manipur. Yes. So every time I got the opportunity to speak about Manipur crisis, the violence that children and the people are suffering from, I, I told this to every journalist, to many delegates, to many of my climate activist friends, and to many of the world leaders that I met there. And I spoke this in many panel sessions in my speech too, in every chance that I got. <clears throat> and their response was like, uh, they wanted to know much. Uh, they wanted to know more about the Manipur violence. You know, they asked me a lot of questions, and I, you know, I did not have an absolute reply to them because, you know, I couldn't really express the sorrows, you know, in my deep hearts about, you know, all these Manipur violence and the crisis that we're facing, that we're suffering. But still, people were really effective on it. They really listened to me, and they wanted peace for me. My... Sad that many people who have, you know, who have put in a lot of effort in fighting for our own motherland, for the people of Manipur, have have sacrificed their lives. You know, so I'm really proud that my people are, you know, are are, are putting their lives on on the front lines. You know, just to have peace, just to get the justice, just to fight. You know, for for justice of, of Manipur people. Okay. So I really appreciate all their efforts. That I started my activism when I was around six years old because my young childhood life I had faced a lot of climate disasters and by facing those climate disasters I, I had thoughts, a lot of questions and thoughts coming to myself. Like, COP28 has been 100% successful for me, for my mission that I have when they're to, in Dubai, UAE. But before that, uh, when I stormed them and disturbed, uh, disrupted the high-level uh, session, plenary session of COP28, it was a total failure, you know, of the United Nations Climate Conference because I was really frustrated by the lack of political wills of our leaders. They were doing, they were saying this, but doing that on the other hand. So I really wanted, you know, the real urgent climate action now. But then after I disrupted with the banner, I think you saw this in the social media our leaders started to listen to our voice and then it finally became successful you know and they started adopting the you know to end to make a just phase out of fossil fuels by 20 why is this happening and then i started asking to my leaders and mentors and then they told me it's all because of climate change and then i i told them like how to fight climate change and how to stop the children and people from suffering from climate change then they told me to plant trees to do communist drives so i started doing that and i posted in my social media and after that people started to recognize me many media started to uh, started interviewing me many people started to know me you know i use social media as a very powerful tool for me and then I started you know I, I started my own organization I started protesting in front of the Parliament House and started getting you know uh, invited to various conferences various meetings and events in, in various parts of the world you know the massive deforestation is related with climate change the things that is related with the activism that I'm working for it, it is related to you know the massive deforestation of of planting the uh, poppy drug plants is really illegal. I, I'm absolutely against it. It's really bad for the, for the human health. It is absolutely interrelated with you know uh, with the climate crisis that we're facing today. Like for example, water scarcity. Even the rich people having the money to buy the water can't buy the water because there is no water left in, in my in my birthplace Manipur. So it's really related with climate change, and that's how I explained it to many people.